him any respect. <laughs> God. Can you not bring a chaser? Coffee. You're a fool. Ugh. You're a fucking fool. <sighs> it had lemonade in it and coffee. Ew! No, my chaser was coffee. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Alright. You're gross. Mm. Hi, I'm Chi, and I just saw Venom for the second time yesterday. And I want to talk to you about why Venom was the horniest movie of 2018. <laughs> because it was. So there were lots of reasons why that movie was so big horny, and I want to just discuss the key points in it, and why it was horny for me, why it was horny for you, and why it could be horny for people who haven't seen it yet. First and foremost, is uh, there's a list of reasons and obviously the one that comes to mind before anything else is that tongue. Like that tongue is just obscene and long. And long. Like I don't know how long it's capable of being but I know how long it was and it was just long enough to get the job done for Eddie and... And for me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Just like Venom, I have made a big wet mess. Which brings me to number two. Tentacles wrapping around a big man to make an even bigger man. Like, you can't... There's just, you can't do that normally in movies. There's so many times when you can't do that. And they did that. And um, Tom Hardy himself, he's only five foot nine, um, which does. Oh, I say only, but that's taller than I am. It'll get the job done. <laughs> there are scenes in the movies where he just flexes his whole body, and it 100% looks like he could just pop my fucking head off with his one bicep. And I know that he can. I know this, but because when he becomes Venom, when they fuse together and he wraps around him and they become an even bigger man, that's just like, he's so small. He's so little, but he still could beat my ass. And it's like, big, go little. for it. He is big. He's big, but little. Ugh, he's little inside of him. Oh god, he's so little, and that's what's so good, is because Venom is what, like, seven foot? He's some... gotta be like eight, nine foot tall. Yeah, he's a giant monster. He and Eddie people around like the ragdolls. He tosses people like they're nothing, and I want to be nothing if it means that I could be tossed around by him. My fourth point is... Did you make a third point? Oh, I didn't! <laughs> My first two points were shots of vodka, so I mean, what can you say? So the third point is easily looked over because it's love. It's a rare kind of horny to be in love with the person you're horny for. <laughs> I'm horny because of love. Love has made me so horny. <laughs> and Venom truly does, by the end of the movie, he really loves Eddie. And in the trailers, it's it's shocking because the trailers made it seem like Venom is 100% in control of him and it's just like, you're gonna do what we say. And if you don't like it, shut your twink mouth and doesn't even give a shit. But in the movies, he's like, you know, we're gonna do this. And Eddie's like, I don't want to do that. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so... All right. I love you, Eddie. I love you so much. And he does. And then he shoved his long tongue. And then the tongue came his out. Own mouth and then back into his own mouth. God, that takes us to another point because now I'm just I have these numerated and now it doesn't matter. You can't numerate this. You can't put numbers on horny. Cool. On a scale of 1 to horny, how number are you? 4. But by the end of this video, you'll be a 10. Venom looks like how Sticky feels. Yeah! Yes. And one of the appealing things about him is that he is so gooey. And being gooey, being sticky, 
like <laughs> instances in which your entire body is sticky and gooey and slimy. Yeah, there's times when that's just not good, but so many times when that's exactly what you want. And I think that's what Eddie wanted because the majority of that movie he was very sweaty and you know, kind of looked like he had a sheen to him. And I think that's important. Venom is such a sticky thing. And he is a monster. He's the greatest part because there are monster fuckers. Haley. Okay. I have to branch off for just a moment. Monster fuckers and furries are two separate things, correct? I think so. So why are monster fuckers not called crypto furries? <gasps> Crypto furries. Crypto furries. It's like cryptozoology like, is. You want to fuck Mothman then, and like Mothman and Venom aren't the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I feel like does Venom? Okay, does Venom fall into a slime girl sort of <laughs> category? He a does monster, for me. a monster fucker category, or an alien fucker category? Or is he? A he's a monster alien. He's a symbiotic relationship of all of them. My next point is Vor. My next point is Vor. And... You know, cheers to that, I guess. What can I say about Vor? No, you don't need to say that. That was perfect. I don't need to say anything else about it because... Here's my thing, is that people are going to contest that it wasn't Vor because he does not swallow Eddie. He wraps around him in a warm, maybe, cocoon okay. of love. But that's like, the way you were describing yeah. that just made me think of like that Sonic Vor, where it's like... No, we're not going to talk about I'm Sonic Vor. I'm not going on DeviantArt again. <laughs> it's Vor, because it even in the trailer, the first trailer for it, you see he comes up around his head with the teeth, like so. That's just swallowing from the other side, baby. Alright, my next point of why Venom, not just Venom, because Venom and Eddie obviously are the majority point of, like, their physicality is a major horny point. But then you have Riot. Now, Riot he was even bigger. That's very interesting because um, Riz Ahmed is a very slight man. He had muscle for sure, he was lean. Like, I saw Titty Shelf, but he himself compared to Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock, very, very slim, very slim, very nerdy, sort of like hot nerd. He was really hot. And, well, he was pretty hot. Everybody's a twink compared to Venom and Riot. That's true. Everyone is a twink compared to Venom and Riot. It's like, that's what this movie really was. It was like, who do you think you're horny for? Guess again. Because you like muscles, you like this, you like that. You're wrong. Because it gets worse. Or it gets better. <laughs> In Riot's case, that was my main point. Tom Hardy giant man, when he becomes Venom, a larger man, Riz Ahmed, slight man, pretty tall, but he's slight and he becomes this monstrous thing that is arguably makes Venom appear to be a twink. This world is black and white. Either <laughs> You either twink or get twunkin. <laughs> Number seven on my list for why Venom was a horny movie. Yes, question. Tentacles were part of number two. I have it right there. Tentacles wrapping around the big man. We, I just really you want to reiterate. Really well, that's fine because number seven was monster fucking. Are you a monster fucker? Yes. If you saw Venom, yes. <laughs> you have no say in the You matter. are. You are a monster fucker. If you're married already, your partner's also a monster fucker. It's kind of like symbiosis. All it all comes back. It all comes back. It all rounds the same. Um, I do want to point out my number eight 
is not so much a horny thing, but we were discussing how soft Venom is for Eddie. And the amount of affection he has for him, like, paves the way for how horny it is. Because there was a point in time when Eddie does ask him what he wants to eat. And we all know what Venom wants to eat. He wants to eat people. He's a people eater. He's a big old vor machine. And he tells Eddie he wants to eat tater tots and chocolate. And I don't think it's because Venom likes tater tots, because we know he doesn't. I think what it is is that he thinks Eddie loves tater tots because that's the first thing he ate when he was with Teddy. Teddy? Wrong. No, that's Young Avengers. We're not getting into that. <laughs> that's the first thing he ate when he was Eddie was tater tots. And I think that softness is like, I want chocolate, you get tater tots. I love you, baby. I'm with you forever. <sighs> I love you so much, Eddie. I love you. And that's Venom. But you have to imagine that in like a gravelly voice. I love you. I like tater tots because you like tater tots. I just want to love what you love, Eddie. I love you, baby. Also, can we talk about the fact that Eddie Brock was a complete Omega? Venom can have whatever they want. Venom can have anything in this world, and he chose Eddie. And that's horny as hell. And their love made him stronger. Their love did make him stronger. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Venom. <laughs> Whoa, Venom is right. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a chocolate covered potato chip because I know Venom would be big horny for that. Could you I'm imagine? I'm big horny for that. You can't be big horny for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm potato. I'm Venom. <laughs> I could make you chocolate covered potato chips right now. What the we fuck have are chocolate, you doing? we have potato chips. <laughs> While I'm doing this video. No, you're not. You're making me that right now.